Hello, my name is Rhea and I'm a second year student at Imperial College London studying molecular bioengineering. This is a new and exciting course that lies at the intersection between engineering, science and medicine. Our ultimate goal is to engineer biological systems to solve challenges in health and well-being. Today we will show some of the cool projects that we are doing as part of our degree, as well as the campus and facilities where we conduct our activity. We will also be joined by some faculty whose cutting-edge research is bringing about tangible solutions to real-life problems. This brief introduction will hopefully give you some insight into what a molecular bioengineer is and how this degree empowers us to push the boundaries of science. I am now in front of Royal School of Mines, which is where most of our lectures take place in normal times. As molecular bioengineers, we are using principles from sciences and engineering to module and modulate biological phenomena. Our lectures are very interdisciplinary and start from maths, programming, thermodynamics, to physiology, biomaterials, and synthetic biology. A molecular bioengineering degree has a very strong emphasis on practical work, and one of the things we're currently doing is looking at how gene expression will change in skin fibroblasts following perturbation. So come with me to this building and let's see some of the labs that we are doing. We collaborate with each other in year-long engineering projects and examples from this year include diagnostic tools for melanoma, rapid COVID-19 tests and biodegradable masks. We take extensive modules for at least two to three years to hone our computational skills through programming languages like C++, MATLAB, Python, Java, and so on. With this broad range of skills, our graduates are well equipped to thrive in a wide range of destinations. While some students prefer to pursue graduate studies, others are employed by pharmaceutical, biotech, and medtech companies. Some students will use their technical background and support in Imperial to create their own startup companies, whereas a large percentage will be employed by the finance and banking sector. Hi, my name is Miguel. I'm a second year molecular bioengineering student and this year as part of one of my modules I've been developing a kitchen timer with one of my classmates in an Arduino Mega. Okay, so our kitchen timer uses a 4 times 7 segment display and a joystick where you can set the time. You can move on the X axis to set the time up or down in minutes and on the Y axis to set up and down on seconds. So when the time's up, the LED will start flashing and the buzzer will start beeping and the countdown time will be reset to the previously set, set it time and the user will be able to set it again. Hello, my name is Francesco and I'm a second year student and for my Arduino module, me and Alex we designed a snake game controlled by a joystick and a gyroscope. So inside the controller, there will be a gyroscope which will take uh, and uh, analyze data every second. And Arduino will filter them by using a complementary filter in order to actually access the angle of rotation of the device. While the joystick works uh, instead with uh, potentiometers. So as the joystick is moved, the value of potentiometer will change and change the position of the snake. Hi, I'm Alex. So for this project, we wanted to explore the use of a gyroscope in a fun way. But obviously, it has carryover to medical applications, uh, such as movement tracking and also the, the making of artificial limbs and stuff. Molecular bioengineering is at the forefront of modern biomedical research, and molecular bioengineering graduates will have the opportunity to pursue a career in academic research. In my group, for example, we design and engineer new technologies and devices to enable the early detection of diseases such as cancer before the appearance of the first clinical symptoms at a stage where they are more easily treatable. This is mostly done via the detection of biomarkers or indicators made of small DNA or RNA molecules which are found in abnormal concentration in the blood or over bodily fluids of patients. Our work uses molecular engineering techniques to develop molecular probes that can bind to these biomarkers and generate a characteristic signal such as fluorescence every time they detect one. To ensure these technologies can benefit patients and are used in the real world, for example by your GP, we incorporate our probes into devices which we also design, develop, and test in our laboratories. Just to give you two examples of our ongoing research, we are developing a paper-based lateral flow test 
similar in its principle to a pregnancy test or a COVID test, but can predict whether a pregnant woman is likely to deliver preterm. This simple technology only requires a few drops of a mother's blood and can identify women at risk of preterm birth very early on, from as early as the 12th week of pregnancy, when treatment options to prevent preterm labor are readily available. We are also developing a painless microneedle patch that can diagnose melanoma, the deadliest form of skin cancer, by detecting within minutes the presence of cancer biomarkers from skin. These polymer-based patches are made of tens of tiny needles and are coated with biomaterials developed in our group. When applied at the proximity of a suspicious mole, these patches can sample and then detect RNA molecules released by the tumor into the liquid present just below the external layer of the skin. These examples demonstrate how molecular bioengineers can contribute to improving public health care by predicting or detecting potentially life-saving condition early to enable early intervention and increase survival rate. This is a four-year course and we graduate with a Master of Engineering award. Our final destination is now Royal Albert Hall, where the graduation ceremony traditionally takes place. Thanks so much for joining us today and we hope you enjoyed the video.